Welcome to Hindsight Tonight, I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, Senior Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas was released from a D.C. hospital late last week after battling a reported infection, but what he came home to may have made him even sicker. Newly released documents from the Justice Department revealed a bevy of stolen election accusations made by Thomas's wife, Virginia, to former Trump Administration Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, demanding that the 2020 presidential election be overturned. Well, that's just awkward on many levels. First, that 30 years of sharing a breakfast table together did nothing to educate the spouse of a Supreme Court justice that a chief of staff has no power whatsoever to cancel an election. Meadows didn't even have credentials to enter the Capitol. I mean, neither did those 2,000 protesters on January 6th, but I digress. Ginny went just bananas. That's like calling the D.C. police demanding that they move Easter. Now there are several journalists demanding that Thomas be impeached, which is really unlikely, despite it clearing the way for a new Democrat-appointed judge to even out the Supreme mix a bit. Gee, if only Justice Thomas had properly courted his one-time assistant, Anita Hill, back in the 80s, instead of, you know, sexually harassing her with talk of orgies, bestiality, and pubic hair on his coke. That's all true, by the way. Look it up. Maybe she could have been Mrs. Thomas, and then this current mess could have been avoided. And get this, Thomas barely passed his confirmation hearing in 1991 because Anita Hill was the lone accuser to address Congress. There were four other women in-house that day, ready to back up Hill's claims with their own tales of sexual harassment by Thomas and surely derail his confirmation, but they were stopped from testifying. By whom? Oh, just the then Democratic Judiciary Chair, a man named Joe Biden, mind blown. So if you're keeping score at home, our current president assured the passing vote on a Supreme Court justice whose wife then denied his own presidency. And that's how you say thank you in Washington, D.C. And speaking of thank yous, get a load of this. Men across the globe are applauding the progress made on a male birth control pill. Researchers at the University of Minnesota have reported that the pill is 99% effective in mice, which is great because those tiny condoms must have been just brutal to utilize. But let's not be premature here. There is still testing needed to be done on humans before Drake can finally travel to hotels without hot sauce in his pants anymore. But the pill is coming someday, and the final telltale sign is that the father of paternity testing is finally pulling out. Mr. Maury Povich is ending his program. The famous host started his TV career on the Philadelphia show People Are Talking back in 1980, and over four decades has become synonymous with the catchphrase, You, you are the father! father triggering tears of joy for female audience members and deep sorrow for male guests. The Maury Show actually had a DNA lab built inside their studio and used it to perform over 3,000 paternity tests over the years. Happy retirement, Maury. After 42 years on TV, clearly, you are the father. And that's your news. This is Hindsight Tonight. Join us right here every Sunday for Fresh Hindsight.